This is why we can't have nice things. This video is brought to you by the Spider Combat Arena. Support the Kickstarter today. Oh my goodness. So I did a video a while back regarding the extinction of black people, okay? And I think that video is still pretty apt, especially, uh, especially today. Especially in today times when we have a whole bunch of uh, foreign and domestic attacks happening on, on black Americans. And there was something I saw that honestly, <laughs> uh, you just have to laugh. You, just, you have to laugh through the pain. Because if you take into account, if you honestly just take in what is happening, you just, you, you go mad. You go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And what I'm referring to is this HBCU uh, celebration, right? The celebration, the second annual celebration with Kamala Harris. And there are nothing but a bunch of, you know, black students who are celebrating. They got Sexy Red playing. Um, you have them saying just idiotic statements such as, hey, my vice president is black, what, what can I do? This event means to me, it's put everything into perspective. It shows me everything is possible. My vice president is black, what you mean I can't do it? I am so excited to be here, like to be in the home of the first African American female vice president of the United States means everything to me. And it's this, this glorification of having a black VP. Now, that in and of itself is the problem. That is precisely the hustle of the Democrat Party. That's the reason why you have an Obama. That's the reason why you have a Kamala Harris. That's the reason why they elect certain figureheads to say, look, the person's black. We're the only ones that are putting black people into positions of office. Look at the Republicans. They're not doing that, but we are. And at face value, sure, Someone who may not be, you know, or, you know, dotting their I's and crossing their T's, someone who may not be politically savvy may go, oh, oh, oh that's good, that's not really good. But once you start to look into the political game, once you're aware of the political, political game, you understand that these fools are no different than the, the you know, the, the Sambos of the right. They're no different. It's two different plantations because these individuals aren't doing anything. It's not solely and exclusively about representation. I hear, I, trust me, I agree that representation is important. It's very, very important, okay? However, if that representation does not represent you, then it's not representation, okay? I don't know what needs to be said, what needs to be done, what needs to happen for, for us to understand this as a collective, for us to understand this as a community. This video is foolishness. She's talking about welcome to the grand blah, 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 blah. Where is the talk of reparations? Where is the talk about anti-black uh, uh, hate crime bill? Where is the talk about anything tangible, any policy, any legislation that's going to impact these HBCUs? Because I find it hysterical that they're celebrating in the midst of HBCUs being shut down. OK, and then, you know, you had Deion Sanders who completely left and say, hey, it's in disarray, it's in shambles. You have as far as people who are exploiting the resources of these HBCU and taking them out. That is what's happening. But in the meantime, between time, we are celebrating. You have these black kids talking about, hey, it's celebrating black a VP and all this. This is foolishness. This is why we aren't taken seriously, because I guarantee I guarantee I put my life on it that during the midst of of you know, the anti stop Asian hate and all of that and how they're putting out this propaganda on the on the Internet and the news reports and everything. I guarantee freaking tea that if they were to have that, if Biden were to have, let's have a celebration of Asian culture or let's have a celebration of Asian students or let's have a, whatever it was. I guarantee no one would show up. I guarantee they'd be like, listen, we are being uh, uh, just taken out in the streets, Biden, okay, by black people. We're gonna, this isn't acceptable. There's nothing to celebrate until you do something. I guarantee that's what would happen. I guarantee, okay? You have uh, the uh, Lauren Reichley or whatever her name is, right? What happened? Did they do any celebration? No, they were like, we need a bill passed. We need a bill passed and we need these mofos out here. That's what they did. When it came to Kate Steiner, when it came to any of these scenarios, what did they do? They don't treat them like this. 
They don't disrespect them to this to this degree, to this public degree. And then it's what's it, here's the thing, because you honestly can't even say it's disrespect, because in order for it to be disrespectful, someone has to feel disrespected. That's what you have to understand. Like if you are doing something to purposely, if your intent is to disrespect them and the person that you do this to doesn't take it as disrespect, they find it as, hey, this is awesome. I love this. This is great. Then it's like, oh, well, OK, then this is awesome. Because I, I don't know what I, 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 I don't know. I'm just at a loss of words. Right. We have I'm, I'm telling people, you know, read them a, a, a power nomics all laid out there. Everything he said that was in that book has happened to a T to a T. And then to top it all off, bruh, we have the Selma walk. Just listen, listen. I don't know what to tell y'all, but a Selma walk with the VP and freaking, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Uh, uh, not Jesse, Al Sharpton. There we go. Sharpton. I'm sorry, but a, 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 a Selma walk with, with Kamala Harris. And Al Sharpton is not going to do anything for black people. And then they had the black attorney, uh, a crump. I, it's just infuriating. That's what it is. It just is. It's, it's infuriating. It's like screaming at the top of your lungs and no one can hear you. It's almost as if we're invisible. Like our whole race, our culture has been hijacked. That's what it seems. It seems that it's been commercialized. That's what it seems. It seems that a group of people, non-black people, okay, have commercialized us entirely, have commercialized us entirely, that the only route for success is to, to shake hands with the devil. That's what, they, that's what they have done. And this is a travesty. And outside of that, they will frame you as a criminal if you are not an athlete or some type of entertainer. That is what they have done to us as a people. That's, what I, that's honestly what I believe is, is, is happening today. This this isn't going to happen. This, like people talking about reparations. I'm like, you're not going to get reparations through a Selma walk. You're not going to get the reparations through, you know, uh, you know, sh dance into to sexy red and HBCU party and stuff like that. No, what should happen is that every single black student there should have been pressing her. But how do you press someone that on like that is documented? Recorded saying, hey, she's not going to do anything for black people. She's not going to do anything especially for black people when it comes to reparations. Now, I, I, how, do you, how do you confront someone like that? Because you voted, voted for her. A good chunk. Not saying all, but a good chunk voted for her. Despite her saying that. She, simp she said, bold face, I'm not going to do anything specifically for black people in regards to reparations. That's what she said. Regards to reparations, I'm not going to do anything just for black people. That's what she said. She wins. She wins. Biden wins. That's what happened. What, what do you say? Now you want to be upset at the Democrats? At this point in time, there's nothing we can do. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't see any pathway to, 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 to political empowerment. Because what it's been, it's been so heavily commercialized that they have created... Um, they, they, they haven't created a collective. They created as far as uh, what they have created is a hyper focus on individualism. That's what they've done where there is no more collective. There is no more group. They have people thinking that as far as by you voting as a monolith is a negative. That's what they have you thinking. Um, that's how they framed it in, in this, this pollution, this, this intellectual pollution, this, this toxin, this venom is now having an impact on us as a group. That's what's happening. It's just, it's naturally, you know, the lineage of evil. Well, you have to understand that lineage of evil has been doing evil this entire time. So it's naturally been having repercussions to us. It's been having an impact. Don't get me wrong. It's now starting to slowly catch up to them as well. <laughs> Birth rates, uh, uh, suicide rates, uh, uh, the, the, the alphabet, you know, the, 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 uh, I would say the, the fertility, all of that, it's starting to catch up to them, but it seems that the damage here with, within us as a collective seems to be permanent, unfortunately. That's what it seems to be politically. Everything else does not matter. Nothing else matters because it seems that they are going through a, a, a filtering process to filter out those who want to benefit the group. 
That's what it seems to be the case. Whether it comes to the NFL, the NBA, entertainment, whatever type of celebrity status, that's what it seems to be. That as long as you think as an individual, you can achieve great, great success. But the moment you start talking about, hey, well, we need to, you know, own an industry. Well, we need to work together as a collective. Well, we need to work on these, you know, in, work on the gentrification that's going on here and here. Moment they start hearing anything like that, you're gone. It's game over. That's what it seems to. That's what seems to be the case. Moment, the moment they hear competition, and that's what this has always been about competition. The moment they hear someone talking about competition, it's game over. It's finito. You're done. You're kicked out, and they control the system. Anyways, guys, that's a video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, Lucas, Lucas, don't give up hope. There's still faith. There's still time. We can do this. We can make it happen. Um, or if you believe, listen, um, if, if, how do I say it? If you, you've been hearing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, right? It'd be like if your girl tells you she loves you, she loves you, she loves you, but everything she does shows that she doesn't. <laughs> shows that she doesn't. And I've been hearing this talk. I've been hearing all this. And as I said before, there has to be a catalyst for change. And th there just isn't a strong enough catalyst thus far. Maybe that happens later down the road, but as of right now, what happened in Buffalo is not a strong enough catalyst. What happened with reparations, not a strong enough catalyst. What happens with uh, you know law enforcement, not a strong enough catalyst. So it gets to a point where, okay, what needs to happen to cause this change? Anyways. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Do we have enough time? Do we not have enough time? Are we running out of time? Uh, share and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys. Be amazing. Al Sharpton is not going to do anything.